fighting games are weird. Even the genre itself is a little strange. Sure, Call of Duty is the only place you can shoot people legally, and Red Dead is the only place you can be a cowboy, but you could always just fight in real life. But fighting games contrary to the title are more of a battle of the mind. Still weird as shit. Like here where you're just an oversized tank, or here where you're a bed with a soul. Outside of the Megalodons that are Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Tekken, there have been many smaller, much, much weirder fighting games throughout history. That's what today's video is about. These are the 5 weirdest fighting games. Feel free to drop a like and sub if you enjoyed today's video. As always, leave a comment down below if I'm leaving out any game you find weird. Number 5. Jackie Chan and Fist of Fire <laughs> In 1994, Kaneko got Jackie Chan and his co-stars into a fighting game as part of a promotional deal for his film Thunderbolt. The game has fatalities like Mortal Kombat, but it plays more like a Fatal Fury game. There are three versions of Jackie Chan and all of them serve as the final boss. They aren't technically beaten and the player can't kill either of the chance. Put me in the game but I do not die, no. Ting ting ting. It has a very similar art style as you can tell to the old Mortal Kombat games, except it leaves tracers behind like you're on a mushroom trip and it gives you a fucking headache. Definitely an ugly design choice. The game had only 9 characters and 3 of them were Jackie Chan. Dude hogged 33% of the roster. I'd be lying if I said I ever seen a Jackie Chan movie, but I can only imagine this did close to zero to promoting his movie. L. Number 4. Celebrity Deathmatch. Johnny, those are the biggest balls I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. That was fun. Anyone over the age of 20 might remember this show. While doing this video, my memory was jogged of this show. It had completely slipped my mind. They made a whole ass fighting game off this show and I never knew. If you've never seen the show, it's pretty self-explanatory. Celebrities fight to the death in a very gory manner. The game itself plays just how the show did, really. I'm pretty impressed with how one-to-one -one the transition is. It came out in 2003 for the PS2 and original Xbox. It was originally scheduled for the GameCube as well, but that idea was scrapped. Can you just imagine? 64-bit Mr. T. In the game, the player needs to hit their opponent several times until the opponent's life meter flashes red, at which point text will show the word kill. The winning player then needs to fill up the MTV meter to full, like Rob Deerdeck. In order to make that happen faster, players can taunt the audience. When in the proper momentum, the player can finish the opponent off by performing their special moves. Within the match, several boxes containing various power-ups and weapons can be picked up by the players. It had a pretty respectable roster, I gotta say, listen to this shit. Busta Rhymes, Carmen Electra, Carrot Top, Cindy Margulis, Cousin Grimm, Dennis Robin, Frankenstein, Nick Diamond, Jerry Springer, Marilyn Manson, Mr. T, Miss Cleo, The Mummy, Lance Bass, Ron Jeremy, Tommy Lee, The Wolfman, and Zartex the Alien. I might actually have to fuck around and buy this one to be honest. This shit looks gas. Number 3. Dong Dong Never Die. What? The time is now. Let's go. Da, 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 da. That guy's super creepy. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Dong Dong Never Dies if like you and your slightly autistic friend wanted to make your own Mortal Kombat game. This shit is so over the top it's actually genius. It wasn't made by a big studio or anything of the sort, just a group of fans of the genre and it definitely shows. You got Asian guy with jeans, Asian guy with the cargo pants, anorexic Yujiro, business Asian guy, monkey mask guy with a spray can, Two Asian ladies, red stick figure guy, and of course, of course, Mario, who throws a mushroom Hadoukens. Gas. Honestly, there's not much that needs to be said about this game. I'll just play some more clips from it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Number two, balls. I take back what I said about Jackie Chan's game being a headache. This is the true headache. Balls is a game where you guessed it, you play with your nutsack. Nah, I'm just joking, of course. You play as a bunch of spheres connected to each other. It's actually impossible to tell what the fuck is going on in this game. And the only dialogue is balls, balls, balls. There's a farting monkey, a sumo wrestler, and a gymnast. Good luck telling who is who though. Every character model looks like they're trying to show you how DNA is made. The best thing about this game is easily its soundtrack. Easily the best one I've ever heard, I do believe. Shrive, move out the way. There's a new king of OSTs, I do believe. It's balls. Before we get into the weirdest fighting game in my opinion, we have an honorable mention for Shaq Fu. This game is dog shit. One thing I've never understood about Shaq is this running joke he has of just putting his name in front of something and just expecting it to work. Like it never even rhymes or something, it's just Shaq, insert noun or verb here. I've heard this dude call himself shaq a -claws. What does that even mean? Honestly, Shaq Fu isn't much better. There's a part where the antagonist calls him Burnt Rice. Back up, white rice. You're here for your man. And of all them bullying him because he's too tall, I guess. Bullied, alienated, tormented, all because of my size. Damn, Sasquatch. Kids just jealous because you're such big boy. I mean, your thirds must be bigger than their heads. Your feet must be the size of. I get the point. Shaq Fu is like a beat 'em up style of game, but you're Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, that's, 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 that. And everyone hates you because you're black and tall. Featuring a boss fight that half of it is just a dance battle. You can turn into Cactus Shack. I'm sorry, Shactus. At least this one rhymes, I'll give him that. At least this one rhymes. And now for my number one pick of the weirdest fighting game, Fight of the Gods. Ever wondered who would win between Jesus and Buddha? Ever wondered what deity you should follow? Look no further than this game to pick it for you. Yeah, I'm a Jesus main. I'm a Buddha main. Jesus has the sickest super in any game ever, I'm sure of it. Dude got the 10 hit super, one for every commandment. This game has a roster of Amaterasu, Anubis, Athena, Buddha, Freya, Jesus, Moses, Odin, Sasanaro, and for some fucking reason, Santa Claus. Oh god, no. Oh, Merry Christmas, yeah. This game should have been called Immortal Kombat, honestly. I just love that Jesus in his intro breaks from the cross just to beat you with it. Dude gets holy gauntlets. Can't believe they got Jesus to actually voice in this game. I'm back for the people. There's a map in this game where you're fighting between the split sea of Moses, and it's probably the coolest part about this game in my opinion. Even cooler than Jesus being in the game. Shit looks nice. I actually think this fighting game done better with a bigger budget would be really good. Like God of War and Smite had a baby with Mortal Kombat or something, you know? As it stands, I'll be the one to label it a little strange. What do you guys think the weirdest fighting game is? Did I leave off a favorite of yours? Let me know down below. Meet to meet, wall to wall, coochie to my boss.